With Linux, we have different desktop environments. Think of them as different desktop themes. Some are fancy with transparency and shadings and cool visuals. But of course, as you would expect with anything that has fancy visuals, they are resource intensive. They consume disk space, they consume memory. Other desktop environments are less fancy but are lighter and faster. These desktop environments have names. For example, GNOME, XFCE, LXDE, and so on. The reason I'm mentioning this is because if you try to install Kali, you will get the option to choose from one or more desktop environments. And if you happen to choose more than one, you can actually switch between them. And when you switch between one environment to the other, the look and feel of your Kali Linux is going to change dramatically. So don't be surprised if you go ahead and install Kali yourself and end up with something that looks completely different than what you're seeing right now in this video. Or if you're watching some other video from another source, you're reading another article with screenshots and that looks completely different. Don't be surprised because that's just another graphical interface. The underlying system is still exactly the same. The same tools, the same apps, the same software. The only thing that changed is the desktop environment and how it looks.